Well, Rich here, my fellow Drifty Manics, and I, like many of you out there, am a little bit restricted as to where I can go out filming my RC cars at the minute. So, some of the bigger, faster stuff is occasionally having to take a little bit of a backseat, although I am trying to get out there and film as much as possible. However, closer to home, I'm getting quite into these small crawlers at the minute. On the end here, we have the Hobby Plus 124 scale four-wheel drive crawler, working headlights on that, cracking little car, just for around about 90 bucks. Here we have the 116 scale RGT crawler, very, very competent indeed. This was only one, this was only beaten up the climb ramp by the TRX4 by just one degree on there. So that is very competent indeed. Yours for around about $140. But the bargain of the day that we're going to be taking a look at today is the Easy RC Patreon 118 scale rock crawler. Quite a bit to like about this, completely ready to run. Does appear to have a very nice scale look. Got a little bit of a hint of Toyota in there for sure. It also comes with working headlights, just like these two. Permanent four-wheel drive with locked diffs on there. And it comes with two batteries, so you should get plenty of run time out of it. And it also has internal beadlock wheels. Yeah. And I'll put a link to all three of these cars below the video. We're going to test this outside at the end of the video. And we're also going to put it on the climb board to see just how steep a slope the Patreon crawler gets up. And as ever, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. So let's have a closer look at it, then take it outside to test it. So what do we get for our money? Basic instruction manual, one USB charger, one battery here, but it comes with two, so I'm guessing we've got one in the car. Miniature wheel spanner, our transmitter, on off, throttle, brake reverse, steering, steering trim, and throttle trim as well. I'm assuming 4A batteries in the bottom, and we're off and running. Anyway, I think it's time we took a look at the Patreon crawler. However, I did think it would be good to set it side by side against the RGT, one a 16th scale crawler so you can see the difference in size there as they say it's about another twenty dollars more than a patreon crawler is however this is far more hobby grade than this crawler is here as i will explain in just okay. a second well it does have working headlights it's got a super scale look to it the body is quite detailed we've got the snorkel mirrors wipers sat valley d headlights on the top there luggage rack as I did mention, it's got internal beadlock wheels on here. This could be quite a little good project car, I'm thinking, if you're prepared to put a bit of time into modifying it. And nice detail, even down to the ladder rack and the spare wheel on the back of the car. And I'll get those lights fired up in a minute. But moving down the underside, we've got a chassis mounted servo. As I say, four wheel drive, lock diffs, both front and rear, all plastic at this price point. And that includes the ladder chassis run down the centre. We've got our motor tucked away in there. And you can see our shocks and springs there, but they're likely to be only friction ones at this price point. And if you're wondering where all of the radio gear and all the electrics are, everything appears to be well tucked away behind the mud guards and the chassis guards underneath. And you're wondering, how on earth did you get the battery in, Richie? So was I. Anyway, those electrics. With a little bit of wiggling and jiggling, we get access to all of the electrics. That's the top of our servo on here. Our combined ESC and receiver board here. You're thinking, well, that's exposed, Richie. Yeah, but you've got all this plastic protecting the underneath. So you're not going to be getting any water ingress in a hurry unless you go submerge with this thing. Um, getting into that compartment on there. And that is the other 7.4 volt battery. 380 milliamps in there. Anyway, time to get all the batteries sorted out on the car and let's test this thing on the climb board, then test it outside. Okay. I'd also point out at this stage, the car does come, hopefully you can see it through there, wind, so hopefully you can see it through the side window there, with a fully detailed scale interior, both front and rear. So it's not only got the scale look of uh, a Toyota on the outside, you've also got a fully detailed interior as well. So it's quite a nice looking thing, but will it be any good on the climb board? Okay, time for the climb board test. I've tried 45 degrees, wasn't liking that, so I dropped it down to 43 now. So that's how we get on. And yeah, we're gonna inch up there on that, I think. But that's on its absolute limit, lifting the inside wheel up there. That is gonna get up there on 43 degrees. Anyway, time to test it in the real world, but I would point out a drag brake on it is pretty good. Welcome to the outdoor test of the Patreon crawler with its working lights. Well, the Patreon crawler's got working lights all round, which come on when you reverse. Indicators when you turn. Which is pretty neat, both at the rear and at the front. Not only do the indicators work, but you also get working headlights, but only when the car's moving forwards. 
quite neat at this price point. Okay, well I've been testing it out on the looser surface. Well, it's got good articulation along this over the bumps. It doesn't particularly like the wet loose surface, yet it's making fairly short work of the rocks along the wall. Although that could be a bridge too far. Is that gonna be? Yeah, I can see what it's catching on. Can I get it round? Yep. So, more competent than it looks. However, on this looser stuff, with it being wet and the tires being wet, it was not particularly liking this earlier on. And it digs itself in. Well, the smaller diameter tires in the wet don't seem to like this kind of looser terrain on here, but then typically this isn't the kind of stuff that you're gonna be taking your crawler over. Well, it's doing better over this than I thought it might. It is quite lightweight, which probably gives that battery life, battery a really long life. And the articulation on the thing is not bad. I would say, is it, I would question though, is it hobby grade or not? I think it's a good first RC crawler, but, and it's not doing badly at all over this. Doing better than I thought it would do. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Well, in terms of its descending capability, Going down about a 35 degree slope here, without too much worry at all. Slight down slightly by not having oil filled shocks on there. Pretty good turning radius though. And on full speed, actually motors up there without any problem, he says. So what do we think of the Easy RC Patreon 118 scale crawler? I would say hand on heart, it's not what people are necessarily going to say hobby grade. However, I would say it punched above its weight. 43 degrees up the climb board was not too bad at all. Outside, in real world terrain, it doesn't do too badly at all. Sure, when the tires were wet, it didn't like those loose wood chips, didn't like crawling over that at all, I'll be quite honest on that. But over rocks, boulders and things like that, the tires seem to grip quite well. And the fact it's got a very nice scale up and working lights, plus internal beadlock wheels, indicates somebody has put a bit of thought into the design of this car. It's very lightweight indeed. Uh, while it doesn't have oil dampers in there, it's just like a friction damper on there. The handling of the thing, the handling of the thing, is better than I thought. But to come back to the hobby grade thing, I would say for spending an extra $30 more, you can get this RGT crawler from Banggood as well. And this thing will go up like 50 degrees. Very, very impressed with this indeed. Also comes with working headlights. And this is most definitely a hobby grade car. Anyway, I'll put a link to both of them below the video. I would say this is a good starter RC crawler, but if you're wanting more of a hobby grade one to start out with, then go for this RGT one. Anyway, I hope you like that. I like to keep these reviews as honest as possible. Now, today's video did feature a couple of slower cars in it, but tomorrow's, oh, I think we're going to be going quite a bit faster. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.